Welcome to our tutorial on the online learning platform called Zoom. Your child will have the amazing opportunity to be able to learn live with his or her teacher a number of times during the week. He or she will also have the opportunity to be able to engage with and connect with his or her friends during these live lessons. In this tutorial, we will show you how to access these lessons for your children. So the first thing you need to do is log on to your child's email. So we will go on to gmail.com. We will press sign in. And then you type in your child's full email address. Press next. And you are taken to the Kesatora login page. Again, you will type in your child's surname and then first name, this time without the at ktc.nsw.edu.au. Put in the password and then click on sign in. We're going to save the password, continue. And uh, we are now in the child's email. Now, the first thing that your child will need to do is to accept the meeting. So there are a number of ways to do this. One way to do it is to hover over the meeting. So we have two meetings that we're playing with that are appearing over here. Hover over it, click on RSVP, and click on Yes. The other way to do it is to come to the top where it says Google Apps, click on Google Apps, come down to the calendar, and we're now going to be taken to your child's calendar, which is going to be linked directly with Zoom. Over here, we have the dark filled in one. That's the one we have already accepted. And this is the one we have not accepted yet. So we will lightly tap it. The bar appears on the side. We come to the bottom and we click on yes. And now your child has accepted both meetings or both lessons. So what we'll do now is actually log into one of the meetings just to see the process. So we'll lightly tap this meeting, the one that begins at 10.07. And we come down to where it says join Zoom meeting. And we click on the login. Now the first time it will take a few extra minutes because you need to download Zoom. However, it's important to note that this will be an automated process. So as you see, on the left-hand side over here, Zoom has already downloaded onto my computer just by clicking that link in the calendar. Now, if that doesn't work, click Try Again, and it should work. So I'm going to come now to the bottom, the left-hand side. I'm going to click where it says Zoom, and it will take me to the installation page. I click on Continue, and the process will really just run its course. So you can see on the bottom right hand side, Zoom has popped up and now it's inviting me to join the meeting. So I'm going to click on join a meeting. Now the children will not have a sign in to be able to join. They're going to have to click on join a meeting. So for the first meeting for each child, they will need to actually insert their meeting ID. So where do you find the meeting ID? You go back to the calendar. I'm going to pop back over here to the calendar. And underneath the link, it says meeting ID and a few numbers. So highlight the numbers. On a Mac, you will command C. On Windows, you will control C. And come back to the Zoom page. We're going to insert that. And we're going to click on join. So now the student is waiting to join the meeting. However, the teacher has not joined yet. So the child is now in a waiting room of sorts. So now the teacher is going to log in and let's see what happens. It may take a couple of moments. The teacher is now logged on and now the student automatically is joined to the meeting. Now on the actual app of Zoom, there are a number of features. Your child is able to mute themselves, they're able to show or not show themselves on the screen. They're able to see the other participants in the meeting as well. 
there are a number of ways they'll be able to interact in the lesson, such as raising their hands, saying yes, saying no. If enabled by the teacher, there are chats, there's the sharing of screens, and there are breakout rooms. These are things which the teachers will go through with your child in their first couple of lessons. Now what I'm going to do is we're actually going to leave the lesson so we can see what the next lesson is going to look like because there will be a slight difference. So now the meeting has been ended by the host. We're going to pop back into your child's Gmail account, particularly to their calendar. And we're now going to come to the second meeting. Now this is going to be an even easier process than the first one because you already have Zoom on your computer. So we will click on the link. It takes us directly to Zoom. But instead of downloading Zoom onto the computer, the computer or Zoom will ask you if you would like to open zoom.us. So you click on open zoom.us and this will automatically connect with Zoom and log you on. However, this time, you will not have to actually insert the meeting ID because you've already done it the first time. And as soon as the teacher has joined the class, the child will be invited to join as well. So we're now connecting. We click on Join with Computer Audio, and your child is now in the live lesson. I hope this was helpful. If you do have any questions, please feel free to contact the school so that we can help you out. <laughs>